In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show how you can take a form document from Microsoft Word or from a PDF document and create fill-in fields so that the form can be filled out online or the user can type in the information and then print it out. For this purpose, we are going to use Adobe Professional 9.0. So here's how it's done. So supposedly we have this form, and now this uh, we want to convert this into PDF and then have the users fill this out. So basically, you would go into Adobe, and then if you go under Forms, click on Start Form Wizard. Choose an existing electronic document. So you're opening a PDF or a Word or Excel file or some other type of uh, document. Click on Next and then you import the file from the file system. So basically you're browsing for the file with a Word document and click on Open, Next. And then the Adobe Professional 9 is going to scan the document for any fields that can be filled out and then create the fields automatically. This takes a few seconds, actually probably it could take even a few minutes depending on how long the original document is. At this point, it has determined where all the possible fields are. So in this case, we have some fields that are not necessary, so we can click on them and then press delete from the keyboard to delete the fields, those that are not necessary or that were incorrectly checked. Also, at this time, we can right-click on these fields, choose properties, and then customize it as far as the font. For example, right now the font size is auto, depending on the size of the field. You can choose the type of font and the color and additional options as well. Now, in the cases where uh, some of the components are not detected, like in this case here for the checkboxes, what you'd need to do is uh, you'd click on Add New Field. And then in this case, we want a checkbox. So just click on checkbox and then just draw a little box right in front of it. If you want to mark that box as required, click on required. And then repeat the same process for the other items here as well. So that's how you basically import a document that you might have in Word or some other format into Adobe Writer and then you create fields or you run the wizard and it creates the fields automatically. Uh, by the way, at this point you just uh, save this and then you send it to the users. Once the form has been saved then the users will be able to fill it out to fill in the fields. By default, if they just have Adobe Reader on their computer, they'll not be able to save the contents of those fields. However, if they have some kind of a writer option, like a PDF creator or some other type that they can, then they will be able to save the uh, form that you have just created. There's another way to create, to distribute the form, and this involves basically having an Adobe account, and then you, uh, you send the forms to the users, and then you get the responses back from the users um, automatically. But for this, you'd need to have an Adobe uh, account. Uh, the other way to fill in the forms or to create forms is uh, manually. So let's say we go and open a PDF document. Now we want to make it so that the users uh, will be able to fill in these um, areas. So you click, it, click on forms and then choose add or edit fields. We can have Adobe detect them automatically. You can say yes or let's undo this, or you can create them manually. So if I say no to, detect, to the detection, then you click on add new field, and we want text field, and you basically just draw a little box for each field. The advantage of the auto detection is that then it does the height of each field automatically, so I'd recommend the auto detection first. In the cases where you have a checkbox, so under the drop down here, click on checkbox or radio buttons, or so in this case, checkbox like we did before, and you simply put a little box in there. In the cases uh, where you want to create a 
large field here where you want the users to put a lot of comments or to write quite a bit of text, what you do is you insert a new field and then you choose text field and then right click on that text field that you just created, choose properties and then under options choose multi-line. That will allow you, the user to enter text in multiple lines, so basically just like a paragraph. Then click OK. So again, we have the text fields so that you can do them automatically. And the checkboxes, but you can also do them manually. Okay, and that's how you do it. So save this. And now, once the form has been saved, when you go to open it, The user opens it, they'll be notified that you cannot save it on this computer because you, uh, this is a fill-in form. And at this point, the users will be able to write here on the box that we created. We have a checkbox option and places where we inserted the fields. So that's how it works. Hopefully this will be helpful to you.